it's been a whole three episodes since we've seen this one. Hey, what's up, my Doku's Jesus, and welcome you back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, last time, we completed the first chapter of this story. We got 120 power stars, and we went and kicked Bowser's ass into oblivion once again. This time, what are we doing back here? Well, we have a second journey to go on. The Green Star Challenge. You've really done it now. Prankster comments are swarming all over the universe. See for yourself. Yes, we have activated prankster comments, but not any prankster comments. Specific prankster comments. Dear Mario. Dear Mario. Well, I want the five one ups either way. Anyway, let's go check it out. Did you see that? Those prankster comets were green! That means there are green stars around now. Those must be the cosmic jewels I keep hearing about. Those green stars are pretty hard to find, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Take it away, Captain. Yes, as he says, every single galaxy in every single world now has green star comets on them. And we have to find them all. There are 120 in all, because there are 120 uh, but from each galaxy from the first journey we took. I'm going to come out and say it, because this is how I'm planning to do this. I don't like the Prankster Comets, like the Green Stars, at all. I don't like the challenge at all. You're basically replaying through the entire game, collecting every single Green Star... And the amount of green stars depends on the amount of power stars you got in that galaxy in the first journey. So say like Right Side Down only has two green stars where Fluffy Bluff has three. I I just don't like this idea. I know it's something to make kind of make the game unique or actually, you know, compare it to Galaxy 1, make it a little longer because instead of just going through and, you know, replaying the same exact stars with... Uh, Luigi to do get 242 stars in that game you have to basically go through the entire game again you can do it with Luigi since Luigi is unlockable but you have to just get these random green stars scattered throughout so to save you some sanity and to save me some sanity because quite frankly I'm I don't like this because you basically have to go through every single cutscene again there are specific stars and specific missions, which means you have to re-watch the specific missions cutscenes again. And there's no sandboxing to this. You grab the star, and you come back to Starship Mario, adds to your star count, you go back out, head back into the galaxy, and then repeat, rinse and repeat again. It's not fun. I personally don't like this. This is my least favorite part of Galaxy 2. I like the idea of green stars, I do think it's fun to collect them, but I liked how Galaxy 1 did it where there was only three to collect and there were, you know, a certain amount of, or they actually, you know, influenced the story a bit. They helped you unlock a section of trial galaxies. These, these don't really do that. So to save sanity, we're going to be spending time there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven worlds full of green stars. Which means we're going to be spending seven episodes going through every single green star through each world. I will not be showing the cutscenes. What I will be doing is I will be going over the galaxy they're from, the mission they are in, and their location. I will not be showing going back to Starship Mario, I will not be showing coming and blasting back into the galaxy. I will only show, or tell, basically their, the information that's needed for each of them, and then show them off. 
So, let's start the insanity with Sky Station Galaxy. Green Stars number one and two are both in the first mission. The first Green Star is over here on the side of Yoshi's house. You just need to do a backflip up to it, and it's really easy to obtain. I just want to point out a good tip. If you don't want to go into a Green Star that you, that is in the same mission as another, click the f first one you collected and you can skip the cutscene. The second Power Star here is up where this Luma turns into a Launch Star. Don't take the Launch Star. Instead, jump behind this fence. Great star number three is our unique one. It is in Storming the Sky Fleet. Green star number three is above the, the warp pad that takes you to the one to the one uh, platform with the enemies. The next stop on our adventure is Yoshi Star Galaxy. It doesn't matter which green star you pick, green stars no 1 through 3 are all in the same mission. They are in Saddle Up with Yoshi. Green star number 1 is right here above the common metal. Green star number 2 is to the right of the plant that, that creates a launch star. It's just right over here in this little crevice. Green star number three is actually a little unique. It is not towards the beginning of the level. It's actually towards the end of the level. Over where you originally would smash the power star, take a, go to the far left and use Yoshi to hover up to it. Following in the trend of our first journey, the next stop is Flip Swap Galaxy. Both Green Stars number 1 and 2 are in the first mission. There's only, I believe, one Green Star in the whole game that actually appears in a Prankster comment. Green Star 1 is right here, high above these platforms. You should have no trouble getting it with a Luigi Spin. Unless you're like me, who sucks at Luigi Spins. In this area, among the Chain Chomps, the green star is right above this second Chain Chomp that comes out. Wait for him to fall down, and then just come over this way, and just backflip up to it. Next stop is Spin Date Galaxy. Green Stars 1 and 2 are in the first mission. Green Star number 1 is on the second planet where we got the spin... or where we got the Comet Medal. Go ahead and backflip up onto this fence, and it's just right here, easy to grab. Green star number two is in this area where the black hole is in the center. It is over here on these yellow platforms. Go ahead and just backflip up to it. Green star number three is in mission two. Inside the second planet, go down this warp pipe. Grab the spin drill. And you have two options. You can either let this di this digger hit you, and you lose the spin drill, or you can side flip, or even triple jump, and use a wall jump to get it that way. Yeah. 
Next stop is Right Side Down Galaxy. Green Stars 1 and 2 are both in the first mission. Green Star number 1 is past the first check, or this checkpoint where the gravity changes. Go ahead and just do this and spam the fireballs. Green Star number 2 is near the uh, end of the level. It is beyond this part where the gravity shifts. Go ahead and backflip up here and just walk around down here to grab it. You may have to change your position a little bit or backflip up to it again because the game will, will most likely treat this as you are not close enough, but just backflip up and get it. Our next galaxy on the list is Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Green Stars 1, 2, and 3 can all be found in the first mission. Green Star number 1 can be found right above the spawn. Go ahead and grab a Cloud Flower, and then use it and backflip and use the clouds to get up to the top and get it easily. Green star number two is off the beaten path, to the left of the checkpoint. It is right over here, it's easily attainable, you only really need two clouds. Green star number three is actually towards the end of the level, but it has a bit of an interesting thing for it. You don't have to take that launch star that takes you up to the area where the comet metal is. You can actually skip that entire planet by just long jumping and using your cloud flowers to get over to the to the platform or at least over to this area where the green star is located. The reason I didn't show this off in our first uh run through of this level is because we had to go up to the to that um, planet in order to get the price or the uh, comet medal, and so there was no, there was never really an opportune time to show it because I didn't want to have to replay through the entire level just to show something when I knew we'd, we'd be using it here. Anyway, Green Star number three is over here on this little mountain, mountain of sorts, I guess. Just come over here, use your cloud flower, and get it easily. Our final stop in World 1 is Bowser Jr.'s Fiery Flotilla. Both Green Stars 1 and 2 can be found in the first mission. Green Star number 1 is located on the top of this castle. Just go ahead and head back to this ba uh, back spire and it's just standing right here. Green Star number two is actually on this planet that we did not explore the last time we were here. I showed you guys a trick to easily get to Gobblegut's planet without having to go here. It's easy to navigate, and it is right here beyond the launch star. Just do a long jump, and you'll get it easily. That puts our star count up to 138. And that is the entirety of World 1 completed. Each galaxy will now have a gold crown next to it to signify that it's completed, and the galaxy or the world itself will also have a gold crown. So with this, that's World 1 complete. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2. We head in and do World 2's Green Stars. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Troops out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Billy if you've not already. 
and I'll see you guys all later.